Hi, this is Pete from Ecom with Keller Williams Realty and the Safe Harbor team. We're standing here at 18341 North Salem Drive in Strongsville, Ohio. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of when you work with our team, what kind of buys are out there in this economy. This home is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, and nearly 3,000 square feet. And the homeowner who's actually closing on this property today just bought the property for $150,000. Yeah, that's right folks, $150,000, 3,000 total square feet. We're gonna take a walk through the property so you can get an idea here of exactly what kind of buy that the homeowner got. Standing here on the staircase of this property, which is an REO property, a bank-owned property, um, like I said uh, a little bit earlier, the uh, homeowner who's going to occupy this property bought the property for 150000 And the properties in this neighborhood right now are selling between two hundred forty and two hundred sixty. So this property is probably a $250,000 property that they purchased for 150000 The upstairs, there's four bedrooms and um, two full baths. And we're going to go upstairs and take a look um, at what the homeowner got. The carpet's dated in here and it needs paint, but other than that, this house is pretty clean. Go ahead. This is the master suite um, of this property, as we come and take a look here. Very spacious, we have a walk-in closet over to the right, and then we have a full master bath over to the left. Some of the uh, finishes here, this home was built in 88, are a little bit dated, but for the price, you can't beat it. We're standing here in the master bathroom here, um, and as you can see, we have a jacuzzi tub, double vanity here, um, carpeting's dated, finishes are dated so you might want to upgrade that but once again the price that the homeowner got um, the home built from 1988 it's going to be original finishes off to the right here we actually have a um, shower stall and there is a toilet there so it is a full uh, walk-in master suite and the uh, shower over here is separate and the jacuzzi tub over here on the left As you can see, this bedroom is painted a real attractive orange, and the flooring is missing here. We did have a leak in the roof. During the negotiations with the bank, we had originally negotiated a price. Um, there was a leak in the roof, and we had to actually re-drywall the ceiling. I was able to go back to the bank um, and negotiate repairs. A lot of times the banks aren't willing to deal with homeowners and do repairs, but in this case, um, we went back to the bank, we renegotiated the price and got the repairs paid out at closing. So on this particular property, they fixed the roof, they drywalled the ceiling, and we remediated some mold out of the basement. As you can see, we have a really nice, um, spacious living and dining room area, which leads right into the kitchen. Um, carpet's a little bit dated, and, and maybe you might want to paint the walls, but everything else is in pretty good shape. Let's go look at the kitchen. The camera's not bad. So 
So this is the kitchen. Not bad, huh? Once again, for a $150,000 house. We actually have granite countertops here, uh, ceramic tile. Um, a little bit of tile work that needs to be done around the back here and, and the appliances are missing. But really, you could probably come in here, paint the house, change out the backsplash. Um, and really, that's about it. we got some of the face covers that are missing. And you might want to replace some of the light fixtures. Um, but it's really pretty clean in here for a bank home property. They have a sunken living area here. As you can see, there's two sets of French doors that lead out to the deck, and we have a really nice fireplace here. This comes right off of the kitchen area, which leads into um, the garage. There's a utility room here, there's a garage, and there's actually a, a little um, eat in nook, and then an office there. This property really has it. About to go down to the basement in this house and this was really the I think the area that uh, the renovations really well the renovations prior to close helped the uh, buyer get into this property so inexpensively this basement had some mold in it there was a bunch of drywall and we had the contractor come in and pull out all of the drywall and remediate the mold um, and the, the buyer was able to get conventional financing and close on this property so let's take a look at what happened down in the basement So we're standing here in the basement, and as you can see, the walls are bare. Uh, they were just studded out. Prior to the contractor cleanup, the whole basement was drywalled in, and there was a bunch of moisture. A lot of times with these bank-owned properties, they're vacant. Um, mold starts to settle in. So in order for the buyer to get conforming financing, we went back to the bank, got them to approve the repairs. The contractor came in, ripped out all the drywall, took the ceilings out, put some chemicals down, remediated the mold, and now we have a unfinished basement, which is nearly, I would say, probably 12 or 1,500 square feet, ready to be finished. Um, once again, uh, this home was bought for 150,000, and Strongsville is 3,000 square feet, and it just needs finishing touches. My estimates are probably 30, maybe 40,000 to get it up to speed, but at that point, we feel like it'll be a $250,000 property. Finally, we're at the back of the house. Um, as you can see, there was a jacuzzi tub here, and there's a little bit of um, exterior repairs to do. Probably want to pressure wash this deck, and there might be a little bit of woodworking done. But other than that, it's really a pretty clean property. The siding needs to be pressure washed, a little bit of touch up on the exterior paint, but that's about it. So, in, in to recap, this homeowner bought this property for $150,000. It's 3,000 square feet, probably needs thirty to $40,000 in renovations, but at that time it'll be a $250,000 house. At the Safe Harbor team, we specialize in getting buyers, whether you're a first-time home buyer or an investor, the buy of the lifetime. Give us a call at 440-521-1447 or catch us on the web at www.safeharborteam.com. Thanks a lot.